take this land, we can overcome. If the Lord delights land, in us, He will give us this land. This land, land delights land, in us, He will give us this land. This land. Good morning, my name is Bishop David Lindruth, and welcome to the Bernathan Church Morning Worship Service. I invite you to please rise for the opening of the Word. I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for coming into our lives with your love and your wisdom. We thank you for leading us day by day, even in times of crisis. We know that you are constantly with everything you have leading us toward your heavenly kingdom where we can live together with you to eternity and happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses, as we also forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. Please be seated. I invite you to say with me the recitation that comes from the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew. If anyone desires to come after me, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Amen. Please be seated. So I want to focus on two details of the story. First, stars, and second, the meaning of a scepter, which is a rod that a king would carry in his hand. First, stars. Stars give us light, and they also are points of light in the night sky that allow people to find direction. They allow people to navigate. So sailors long before there were GPS's and satellites and things like that would look at the stars and use the positions of the stars so that they could tell if they were sailing north or sailing south or east or west and they could use those stars for navigating. And that's one of the functions of truth in our lives. That, uh, truths behave like stars in that they help us to navigate spiritually. They help us to move toward heaven and they help us to know if we're moving away from heaven. And when the Lord came on earth, he reestablished an understanding of truth that had been forgotten. And that was one of the important features of him being born on earth. Second thing about stars is just that they give us light. The sun is a star. And if there were no stars in the universe, we wouldn't have any way of seeing anything. There wouldn't be any warmth on the earth either. But we can see through those stars, our eyes are opened and we're given the light that we need so that we can see. 
Once again, truths are the source of the Lord's light. Where do those truths come from? They come from the Lord's word. Now I wanted to mention that other detail, the scepter. The scepter is a rod. It is a reminder of a shepherd's staff. And it's a symbol of the power that the Lord brought into the world through his love. And it wasn't just love alone, because if we think about love, it's hard to understand love unless that love is reflected in truth. And so what we see is when truth and love are combined together, they have tremendous power. You could think of it this way. If we didn't know how to love or we didn't know how to experience any love we would be completely empty as human beings but the lord coming into our lives with truths that are filled with life and that life is his love when they are filled with that life that has tremendous power and the thing to remember is combining truth with love or combining truth with the desire to help both the Lord and his children, we have an ability because of that power of that love to hold back from tremendous evil. And that was a wonderful thing that the Lord gave to us when he came on earth. So just remember that the Lord came on earth with light for us. He gave us the ability to navigate with truths, just like the stars. And he also gave us an incredible power to stand away from love. I'm, stand, I'm sorry, to stand away from doing harm and to lean in toward serving other people and loving them. Amen. Now please rise for the benediction and closing of the word. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for coming this morning.